All right, man. What's up, YouTube? It's Chance Cannon. We back with another video. So we we were reacting to U.S. deadly submarines threatening China. Now I don't know if you guys have been keeping up with it, but hopefully we don't go to war. But America has these crazy submarines, bro. I mean, like real crazy. Now supposedly that they're going to be loaning, not loaning. They're going to be giving some submarines to the uh, to Australia because they're supposedly under attack. So it's just a lot of stuff going on. Let's get into it, man. The United States is concentrating its nuclear submarines around China. Over a dozen heavily armed submarines have been spotted in various Chinese coastal waters. The Chinese government was immediately alarmed because they had no idea who these submarines belonged to. It all became clear when strange information was leaked to the media that the American nuclear submarine Connecticut it's crazy, man. Collided the submarines is like broke off, bro. The military themselves reported it. The official statement was that at the time of the collision, the Connecticut was in a submerged state in neutral waters. But the question remains as to what the American nuclear submarine was doing near China. And more importantly, who did it collide with? And it's crazy. It's like, see how the big they make them? significantly damaged in the incident, and 11 submariners were injured. The Connecticut is... He said, if I went to the Army, I want to be a sniper, units. man. Its main task Comment is down below what you would be if you went to the Army. Hey, shout out to everybody in, in the armed forces, by the way. ...missiles for striking targets on land, and can also provide support for special forces operations, reconnaissance, surveillance, and patrols. Doesn't this all seem suspicious? Maybe the military was trying to hide the fact that the Connecticut had collided with the Chinese submarine, or maybe they'd even had a shootout, which they decided not to disclose for the sake of global peace. The fact remains that the United States is firmly determined to surround China, and they will do so with the help of the most powerful... Hey, I'm gonna try not to pause it too many times, but... I know in the job I work at, it's this guy, he works on the submarine. Well, he used to work on the submarine, and uh, he, but he said he's not allowed to talk about it, though. But I can just imagine what they had to go through, man. Full submarines in the world. Everyone thinks nuclear power is the future. It's going to be the big civilian power source. 70 years ago, it was decided to use the power of nuclear reactors for military purposes. That's when the first nuclear submarine, the Nautilus, appeared. It was an incredible discovery, as the range of the submarine's movement only depended on the reliability of the main power plant and food supplies for the crew. However, the submarine was too heavy and couldn't hold enough weapons on board. The Nautilus was, in most respects, very much like the conventional submarines of the era but the Nautilus had given birth to a new and extensive field of military See, that's what I'm saying, bro. Today, Just look how big it is, later, man. Pause. I know y'all gonna be commenting down below, Virginia. you know? But yeah, man. The Virginia it's class huge. of nuclear submarines represent tough, an entirely bro. new category of the U.S. Navy's submarine fleet. They're the most modern and versatile in the world and possess stunning capabilities. The Virginia is equipped with the latest technology. It can approach the shore and secretly monitor potential enemies while being ready to strike back with unstoppable force. In fact, the Virginia is one big weapons depot. The submarine can launch devastating attacks on enemy ships using torpedo tubes located in the front of the hull. And it doesn't just use ordinary torpedoes that move in a straight line, but maneuverable underwater devices whose warheads can send the enemy to the bottom of the ocean with a single strike. See, I always be thinking, bro, like, targets, if we have this, what does China have, you know? Because China, they're, they're, they're pretty smart, you know, you feel me? So, it's something to think about, man. There are a Crazy. total of 20 launch tubes on board the submarine, and all of its missiles can be launched in just 120 seconds. You would think that such a powerful submarine could easily be destroyed due to its size, but that isn't the case. The enemy would first have to get around all of its defensive features. To avoid encountering a potential enemy, the Virginia can dive to a depth of up to 820 feet. It's also covered with a special coating that deflects radar. So it can dive up to 800 feet and deflect radar. Like, come on, bro. How, how you gonna stop that, man? Come on, man. Come on. Plus, it can fire interceptor missiles. 
But that's if we're talking about the fourth upgraded version of this submarine. The latest fifth version is even better protected. It can dive 650 feet deeper and uses a system for suppressing radar beams. Submarine maintains its capability and its safety by never being detected. This class of submarine stands head and shoulders above the others. See, bro, I keep saying I'm going to stop pausing, but you just see that, man? That's what I'm saying. There's no way that America hasn't been to the bottom of the ocean. If they got a submarine that can go deeper than that one, just imagine, bro. I don't know, man. Comment down below and let me know, do you think, has America been to the bottom of the ocean? Due to its stunning ability to spot. It's been called the perfect observer, and there's a reason for that. The Virginia has the most complex sensors ever installed on an American submarine. This beauty is the first submarine to be designed using 3D graphics. The program that made this possible had already been tested on previous projects and was used in the development of Boeing aircraft. All designers have access to a three-dimensional computer model, allowing engineers to add new details and modernize the submarine as efficiently as possible. This approach will make Virginia the most advanced and long-lasting submarine in the world. In those days, we designed a, a submarine, you just used to use slide rules. There was a lot of hand calculations. And so when they designed Seawolf, it was computer-aided. The first time we did that, Modern tactics are changing, and new class nuclear submarines must adapt to make sure they're always at the forefront. To create such adaptability, the submarine's designers created a so-called modular That's design, crazy, bro. including an open system architecture, See, just, meaning that the main structure of the submarine consists of ain't no tell me the people can fit in there too, and it's just supposed to just stay on the water. Spaces, such as weapon it's systems, tough. command centers, living quarters, and even an additional kitchen with a gym. Anything that might be useful. The Virginia could indeed take its rightful place as the best U.S. submarine, but it won't be easy because the USS Ohio and Seawolf submarines aren't going to give up their positions willingly. Because they don't know there's that, sub, there's that fast attack submarine or there's that ballistic missile submarine out there. Yeah, I like to see that, the black man. The Navy's underwater fleet. These reliable, stable vehicles and their personnel know their jobs so well that they can defeat even the latest technology. Nuclear missile submarines like the Ohio class form the foundation of the United States strategic nuclear forces. These ships have become the most destructive means of waging war in human history. America's main trump card in nuclear deterrence at sea is their intercontinental ballistic missile, the Trident, and its modern upgrade, the Trident II, which has a range of 7,500 miles. Theoretically, the Ohio 7,500 miles strike on the enemy's territory directly from its home base. Convenient, isn't it? Even while anchored in Seattle, the submarine could easily strike Beijing. And with 24 launch tubes, it could absolutely devastate all of China. They developed their own ballistic missile submarine force in the 1960s. That force of 300 submarines is potentially devastating in case of a conflict with the United States. But we hope it never comes to that because the Ohio's other weapons are also far ahead of its counterparts. We've already mentioned its maneuvering torpedoes, but how about dropping a dozen underwater mines? The Ohio only needs 15 minutes to leave behind a field of massive anti-ship mines, and just one slight touch is enough to trigger 2,200 pounds of explosives. The sturdy hull of the Ohio is welded from special 75 millimeter thick low magnetic steel. Inside, the sturdy hull is divided into four main compartments. These compartments house the central bridge, combat posts for tracking, communication, and weapon control systems, torpedo tubes with spare torpedoes, battery packs, living quarters, officers' quarters, a sick bay, and so on. There's even a library with a TV and an aquarium. The sole purpose of a, of a submarine being invented was to take the fight there, you know, launch torpedoes. While the Ohio was created for dropping Spice, nuclear bro. weapons anywhere in the Spice. world, the Sea Wolf is completely different. In the 1980s, the U.S. government was seriously concerned about countering the Soviets' low-noise nuclear submarines. They created a hunter submarine in response, which also possessed low acoustic detectability. Over time, this development was modernized and turned into what we know today as the Sea Wolf. This beauty was created for the sole purpose of destroying the enemy forces. 
All it right. uses a set of more than 24 types of torpedoes. Penetrating, maneuverable, curving. There's one for every occasion. No adversary could stand against the Sea Wolf. And she has maneuverability. All, everything that makes a fighter aircraft superior is what Sea Wolf brings to that underwater dogfight. Due to their narrow specialization, Sea Wolf class submarines don't participate in foreign operations. Their main mission is to protect their homeland from invaders trying to undermine the security of the United States. Although their original purpose of combating low noise Soviet submarines has become a thing of the past, Sea Wolves remain relevant due to the growing power of the Chinese surface and submarine fleets. There were 10,000 drawings that defined that ship. And there were probably five or six revisions to the 10,000 drawings, so it's 60,000 pieces of paper. These submarines are active in the world's oceans as part of carrier groups providing reliable anti-submarine protection. The latest Virginia submarine See, that's what I'm saying, the bro. Wolf and Ohio China has to have something to the ability to destroy an enemy fleet and deliver nuclear missiles anywhere. That brings this video to an end. Thank you for watching this far. Subscribe to our channel, click the bell.